What is up, everybody? We are here with Shelby Ellis, who is by far one of my favorite people. Um, and she, <laughs> I'm serious. Shelby Ellis, um, and I am a mother of two, um, super busy kids. I always thought that, um, you know, babies are so much like harder, but now that they're getting older, I have to run them everywhere. They have like sports and like all that stuff. And I feel like it's just getting harder, <laughs> but, um, and I live in Idaho Falls, Idaho. Um, I am married. Um, my husband works a lot, so I am mostly home by myself, but I'm very grateful for all of his hard work. <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm a mom. <laughs> I love it. It's never just a mom. mom yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So what was life like before doing the program? Um, well, I was thinking about this this morning, um, about things that you were going to ask me and this question kind of popped up into my head. Um, and mostly I think if I can say one word about my life before that, um, before this program is, um, unproductive. I really struggled with um, finding that um, in between, I would work out every single day. I mean, my nutrition was off. I wasn't really like hitting all the points. And I was frustrated because I was working out every day. And, you know, you hear people saying like, work out, work out, work out, you know? So I was doing that. I was working out, but I wasn't losing the weight or I would lose the weight. But then a week later, it would be back. Yeah. And it was super frustrating. And I think that kind of put me into a, a state where I didn't want to do anything. I kind of, I think there was a, a point, I did really good in July and August and um, September, well, like a little bit of September and then the rest of September, I think it was like, oh, well, I might as well eat what I want and not work out because I'm not getting what I want. Mm -hmm. So I kind of stopped working out. I kind of lost that momentum that I, you know, needed. Mm -hmm. but it just was, I was very unproductive and I wasn't the mom that I wanted to be. Um, my girls would always be like, you're not a fun mom anymore because I would just want to be at home. I didn't want to do anything else. I'd had no energy to do anything else. So that was kind of my life before this program. How did it make you feel when they say stuff like that to you? I mean, obviously it kind of is like a jab. Um, I mean, they would ask like, uh, mom, are you doing your workout today? because I was so like gung-ho on that. And then I just stopped. Yeah, I, you know, I was like, no, like I'm not, you know, not today. So they'd ask these questions and obviously I think that also kind of helped put me into that spot where I didn't want to do anything because it made me feel bad. What changed, what made you want to make, you know, join the program? I think just, um, like, I mean, kids are relentless, right? Like yeah. 
say things just, you know, whatever's on their mind, they're going to say. So I think when, you know, they were saying things to me and I started noticing that I was being unproductive and that I was in this spot where I didn't want to be like, I was in this spot, you know, a year and a half before and it was rough and I was seeing myself heading down that path and being the heaviest I've ever been, which was crazy to me. Like I was letting food totally take over my life. And like at that point, I like, I realized like I wasn't okay with that. So that's why I reached out. What made you reach out to and do this program specifically? Um, so I, you had added me to um, a group prior and just watching, I mean, we're friends on Facebook. So just watching you and knowing kind of, you know, your pattern of, you know, hard work, dedication, you talk very highly, you're, you know, you're very positive. And I knew that I needed that in my life. So that's why I reached out. I'm glad you think I'm so positive. You are, every time I talk to you. <laughs> that's the goal, right? Yes. Keep things upbeat. Um, and so now that you're in the program, you've been in it, what now, 11, 10? 11 weeks this week. 11 weeks. So now that you're 11 weeks in, like what? What is life like now? Well, um, I'm not going to lie when I, like, the beginning was rough for me. Um, mentally, mostly. Uh, I don't feel like I lost a lot of, you know, I mean, I lost some physical because I did gain weight in that, you know, month that I really did nothing. And, um, but mostly mental was my biggest Thing that was going on with my life at that point when I first started. Um, but like I said, it was, um, you guys, Kayla is awesome when it comes to like reaching out every single day. Like I don't think I haven't, like in the past 11 weeks, I've talked to her every single day and um, making sure that like I stay on track. If I'm struggling, she always has positive words to say to me and remind me like, this is a process um, and that it's not just going to change overnight. Um, that's something that I really had to learn. And um, I think that's where I found my middle ground on nutrition and all that because once I did start that, like start and find that middle ground, I was like, I that's when I saw my weight loss. And so um, I, you know, just you're positive and you all, you know, just that push always. What kind of results have you seen so far? Um, so obviously weight loss. Um, I'm not where I want to be, but um, Kayla has also taught me that the skill does not, I mean, it matters, but it doesn't matter. Um, mostly I've seen it in my inches, I've lost a lot of inches. I've gone down. I was wearing a 10, 12 pants, depending on the pant. I'm in a size eight now. And um, I um, have gone down in sizes and almost everything. Um, but mostly it's um, that will to be productive again and to have that um, energy and um, love and caringness that my girls need, but most importantly, what I need as well. So those are some of the biggest changes I've seen. So outside the weight loss, you know, like what does it, having energy look like now compared to, you know, before? Um, so before, even like working out before, I wouldn't do my workout to like 11, 12, maybe that night. Um, because I'd be getting out of bed. Right now, my my daughter who's in school doesn't go to school till noon. They're only in half days right now. And so we would sleep in till 10, yeah. play around till 10, like um, 
Energy now to me is I can see a total difference in my housework, um, keeping my house clean, um, not being so like tired, running my kids places, getting up, um, getting my workout done in the morning. Um, I try to be up between, you know, 6.30 and eight o'clock every morning to try to get, you know, stuff done. Um, and then I try to have my workout done before 10 a.m. So just different, I mean, and I can, different, you know, schedule, different, um, what's the word am I thinking, of, what I'm thinking, um, different, um, routine maybe, routine, thank you. <laughs> like, what word is she's fishing for? I'm I can, to... yeah, <laughs> so just a different routine, um, and I, and it's great because my girls can see it. I mean, I have them in a really great routine where they wake up. I wake them up between 8.30 and 9 every morning. And the first thing they do is they get up, they make their beds, they make sure that their room's clean, and then they go have breakfast. Like, it's every morning. Like, it's just a routine. And I think that because I'm not scatterbrained, like, you know, they're not feeling it. Mm -hmm. So not, like... You join this really to like lose weight, right? But yeah. like it's rolled over into other aspects of your life, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And so what would you tell anybody who's, you know, on the fence? This, this question's hard for me because like I've been on the fence multiple times. Um, but one thing I can say is if you don't try something out, like if you have that gut feeling, if you have that push to do something at that moment, pull the trigger because if not, five days later, you're not gonna do it. You're just not gonna do it. And, or even three hours later, you might just be like, yeah, I'm not doing it. Mm -hmm. um, and just, you know, invest in yourself. Like, if you don't invest in yourself, and you're investing in other people constantly, like you're gonna fall behind and then you're gonna be playing catch up when you do decide to invest in yourself and it's gonna be that much harder. Well, thanks Shelby, I appreciate you taking okay. the time today. Hopefully some of you out there found this valuable. If you did, give me a hashtag value. Thanks for watching and we will chat with y'all later.